Hi, my name is Jacob Freeman, I'm a, and I am a product manager at EVGA. So today we're showing two uh, motherboards based on the P55 chipset from Intel. On the left we have the EVGA P55. This is uh, an enthusiast motherboard. It has dual BIOS support. This is a first for EVGA motherboards. It has a pulsating LED, which we adopted from the EVGA X58 classified, which, is a, which was a very popular feature. And it has an eight phase, uh, excuse me, 10 phase analog PWM. On the right here, this is the EVGA FTW line. This board has a few unique features. It has a total of three BIOS chips, and you have the ability to switch between each BIOS chip with the switch here. So you can have different overclock settings on, different bi on each BIOS. You can have different BIOS versions on each BIOS, so it makes it easy to compare. Also, this board has a 12-phase analog PWM, and it has dual 8-pin inputs for a total of 600 watts of power. Hi, I'm Peter Tan, working for EVGA right now, mainly on their motherboards. And today, let's take a look at the, the two motherboards we have based on the P55 chipset. And like this, this one will be the mainstream uh, P55 motherboard, and this one on the right is actually the, a step up above the cut, this one. So it has more uh, power management and various features that this one does not have. And we have uh, inside the CPU socket cavity, we have uh, introduced something that is not typically used on motherboards and that is low inductance surface mount capacitors that, um, that you actually find behind your CPUs, CPUs or your, some of the Intel uh, chipsets. And uh, what, it, what it is, is uh, it's a higher grade of uh, surface mount capacitors, good at uh, transient responses. And the main thing is that uh, its beauty lies in its uh, low inductance. So uh, for cap capacitor-wise, you want as low an inductance as possible. And this, these caps are the, the ones for the job. <laughs> 